Hi guys! Today is Friday night and I was supposed to upload a video today but this week kind of got busy and <clears throat> I felt more inspired to draw than to edit so tomorrow a video will go up. Most likely this one. Alright so I got my babies in the mail. <clears throat> I'm super excited about this and yeah so I was going to get them from Blix, but they kept back ordering and then their customer service was like super rude to me. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just get them elsewhere. And I got them for like $50 cheaper on Amazon. And so now I get to draw with these. And so, yeah, this is the 72 set A with the Copics and they are the sketch markers. And I absolutely love this color palette especially because they have like so many nice teals and that's my favorite color. Um, the only thing is uh, there's not a lot of skin tones, but that's okay because I ordered skin tones and they're on their way. But yeah, so right now I just drew up this girl and she's like, you can't really see right now, but I'm going to ink it as I talk. Well, I was originally going to do the three marker challenge when I first got these markers, but then I realized that last week's video was a challenge and I have a lot of challenge videos coming up here soon and some collaborations and stuff, so I decided to just draw my feelings. And yesterday when I got home, I just felt really relaxed and it was time for my pajamas and yeah. So I basically decided to make this somewhat of a self-portrait uh, my hair isn't this long. I mean, she has like, you know, half her body weight is hair, but yeah. But anyway, I felt peaceful, cozy, just really happy and relaxed. I didn't have candy though, but you know, everything felt sweet, so you had to incorporate that, yeah. But do you ever draw your mood, like with a self portrait? I don't really do this much, but I felt like it was kind of fitting for the day, so yeah. Anyway, if you do, let me know and tag me in, on Instagram or Twitter or something, because I'd like to see it. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Also, do you guys prefer Copics or Prismacolor? I just got this set, so I'm like dipping into it. I used to use Prismacolor more, actually, because they're cheaper, and yeah. But Or any other kind of marker. Let me know what you like to use. And what's your favorite drawing style as far as drawing people? Do you do realistic or cartoon? That is a fun question because I go back and forth all the time. If you look at when my channel first started out, it's mostly like realistic stuff, but my camera quality and all that stuff wasn't like the greatest at the time. I was just using like a little point and shoot camera and stuff, so it might be kind of hard to see. It might be a little grainy, but yeah. Anyway. It's raining here today, and it's really nice, and yeah, don't have much else to say about that, but I do have a lot of future videos coming up, and I'm going to ask you guys a question before I even bother with this. So I'm kind of getting into polymer clay, and I'm debating on making a side channel for that stuff or putting it on this channel. Now, like, I don't want to disturb people who aren't really into, the, like, the crafting end of things, and so I might just do another channel for that stuff. But if you guys are fine with it and the majority votes that it's okay for this channel, then let me know. But right now I'm kind of leaning toward putting it on another channel, and that might be in a couple months. I'm still, like, getting stuff together and filmed for that, and I'd have to come up with a logo and everything. I mean, I already have a name, but it's top secret. So, yeah. But, I don't know. Also, I'm kind of like getting into fan art, and so I never really do that much. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I don't really watch a lot of movies, but um, if I do, it's kind of like Shrek and those family-oriented animated movies. So I think a lot of you guys like that stuff, too, so that's cool. Yeah. Also, um, here in the next couple weeks I might start like featuring other people's art at the end like if you do art based off of one of my tutorials I've noticed like a lot of people tagging me lately with that and I would love to show that in my videos like it's so cool when people actually use your tutorials and they make really cool art with it and 
I just I get so excited when I watch your guys' progress and I just think it's awesome and I want to show the world <laughs> what you guys do too and so if you want me to do that let me know and that means that you guys should tag me so I can share your art and that would be really cool and we'll test it and if it goes well I might just keep doing it for a while so we'll see this is a long video <laughs> honestly I didn't expect this to go that long but I had a lot of fun drawing her hair her hair was like I don't know like these markers blended so well that um, I had to keep on adding depth to it, you know, and every time I added a new layer, it was like, wow, like how much more three-dimensional can this possibly look? And just kept, I don't know, Copic surprised me <laughs> with all these colors. It was really cool. So, yeah. And um, I think I learned that I prefer working light to dark just because I can go over it with the light color afterward. But let me know what you guys think think works best for you when you work with marker because I'm still trying to mess with it too and we're all figuring this out together so yeah I'm curious as to what you guys think of that kind of thing though so yeah just let me know and we'll just go from there yeah and then the background I had to pause this and think for a long time what I wanted in the background that would convey like the mood I wanted you know and what better thing to do than like a peaceful night sky and so that was that i was kind of afraid to just do blue and blend it toward the middle to get lighter because i don't know like what if it didn't blend and turn out good and then i ruined like two hours worth of work yeah this thing took like two hours by the way uh a little longer than i expected but it isn't as long as like a lot of other things take so yeah Anyway, that's about it. I'm just using my white jelly roller to do the stars, and I dabbed it with my fingers to get that blurred look first, but yeah. Alrighty, well, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, whatever, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me if you haven't yet, and I will see you next week. Woohoo! Time for more stuff!